Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment. I am right now in Sonoma. So we will talk about Sonoma wine region and its wines. Sonoma is one of the most important winemaking counties in California, which itself is the most important winemaking state in the United States, responsible for majority of American wine production and certainly most recognized. Sonoma itself can be divided into three smaller areas, Sonoma Coast, Sonoma Valley and Northern Sonoma. Yet it nestles way more American viticultural areas or AVAs. When talking about Sonoma, for some, first grape variety that pops into their minds is Pinot Noir. But Sonoma is way more diverse than that. Yes, Russian River Valley and Sonoma Coast are known for their Chardonnay and Pinot Noir wines. Yet Cabernet Sauvignon is also grown here that is rival to that of Napa and also Zinfandel from old vineyards that are capable of truly showcasing this grape variety in the glass. Given the relatively large size of Sonoma, it is safe to say that this area does not have homogeneous climate. The coastal area is more influenced by the Pacific, bringing in cooling breezes and morning mists. While the vineyards further away from the coast will be less affected from the Pacific cooling influence. Sonoma County is home to 18 different AVAs and as with different winemaking areas here in America, these are geographically bound and do not restrict grape varieties or winemaking techniques used. Some of these AVAs can be quite large in size and often criticized for lacking a unique character such as Sonoma Coast. There are others that are quite small and often part of another larger American viticultural area such as Sonoma Mountain. Other AVAs worth mentioning here are Russian River Valley, Alexander Valley, Dry Creek Valley, and Petaluma Gap. The most planted white grape variety in Sonoma is Chardonnay, covering more than a quarter of its vineyards. It is difficult to talk about Sonoma-style Chardonnay as these wines can be rich and full-bodied with creamy structure, oak aged and oftentimes showing expressive notes of ripe stone fruits. Yet it can also be lean and delicate in style with little or no oak treatment, quite refreshing with notes of preserved lemon, white blossom and occasional ripe peach. Another important grape variety here is Pinot Noir and similar as with Chardonnay, it has wide range of styles. I have tasted wines that I would never want to have in the blind tasting, showing deep ruby color, rich opulent fruit flavors and often elevated alcohol levels. These would be wines that are very difficult to pinpoint in the blind tasting. But here are also Pinot Noir that shows delicacy of red fruit flavors both on the nose and the palate with lively acidity and pleasantly chewy tannins. What a luxury it is to be able to grow two of the most regarded and well sought after red grape varieties in the same region. That's true, Cabernet Sauvignon is also a very important grape variety here in Sonoma. While usually not as full-bodied, opulent and rich as neighboring Cabernet from Napa, Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma can be quite fragrant, showing notes of fresh black currant, eucalyptus, mint and oftentimes for a very good bargain. Lastly, we cannot forget to mention grape variety that is not always loved by dedicated Pinot Noir fans, yet it is capable of producing great wines, especially if in right hands, Zinfandel. It is grape variety that develops high sugar concentration and is known to show mixed ripeness of the berries within a single bunch. Therefore, wines made from Zinfandel grape variety often shows high alcohol levels with 15 and 16% being not that uncommon. Also, because of the mixed ripeness within the bunch, you can have notes in the wine glass showing both underripe and overripe fruit. 
still best examples from Zinfandel will show good alcohol integration and pleasantly balanced flavors of fruit. Given the diversity of Sonoma, there are plenty other grape varieties grown here. Other grapes of importance here are Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Gris, Viognier, Syrah and Petit Syrah. I hope you liked my video, I have been talking a lot about Napa Valley as well, so make sure to watch that video as well.